who's most confused are the people in that building. They all think that today, you know, we're going to fall off into the river and they're going to be losing their jobs because the people from the state are going to be coming in and everybody's going to get fired, and that's just not going to happen. Where do we stand as far as layoffs? How deep, how many, and when? Even, no, I, I, don't, I don't see wholesale layoffs. I see, even in negotiations with the union, I see the work rule changes being more of an issue than taking cuts. But those are fighting words for the coalition of city unions now being joined by police and fire. They all met here at AFSCME headquarters today. This state is out to break unions. That's the bottom line. Uh, for them, for the city council to turn down a deal that guaranteed money, to go to a deal that doesn't guarantee any money, and the only thing it does is add to the city's deficit, is just unbelievable just unbelievable and outrage and the citizens ought to be outraged. Despite the many past, present and future court filings, there are several things the city council, the mayor's office and the state must begin to do immediately. We've got a lot of requirements that are in that agreement. Uh, the first one is to create the uh, CFO position and the, the P PMO positions and then to actually go out and hire those folks. We also have to constitute the financial uh, advisory board. Uh, so we've got a lot of work to do and then get to the work of fixing the city. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll be doing it while he's, he's uh, recuperating and uh, he will be completely uh, up to speed. I meet with him daily uh, and uh, he is uh, totally uh, engaged in this process. Val Clark, 7 Action News.